Big Bravo in this bitch, aka Hysteric Perry, aka Perry. And we in this bitch with World is Mine. You already know what the fuck going on. Y'all turn up. As a kid, man, I was a little badass kid, bro. I was always getting suspended and shit. I was always getting whoopers and shit. <laughs> it was just cause like I had hella energy, bro. I was hella creative and shit. Like I always just wanted to do shit. Like I finished my work and do shit. But I was in the choir when I was a kid. That's how I really started doing music. Like I seen I seen that post. It was like Cardi was in the choir. I was like, yeah, I was I was one of them niggas. <laughs> I was one of them. But it was cool though, it was cool though. I always was going to school for music. Like I went to a, a middle school that was dedicated to music. I went to a high school that was dedicated for music. Like a private school type shit, like one of those schools. I just was surrounded by music a lot as a kid. I just was getting into shit as a kid. It was fun though, bro. I be wishing I could, I could go back to a kid, bro. Like no responsibilities and shit. Bro. My favorite memory was like when I got the PS2 for Christmas, bro. Oh my God, bro. I had SmackDown vs. Raw on that shit. I was playing that shit every single day. And this was back when I ain't had a memory card, so you had to keep the PS4 on like all day, bro. My shit got corrupted, bro. I never played the game again, bro. Ever. I never, I never played that shit again, bro. I got a memory card and just started playing hella other shit. Uh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy used to always be my favorite. But then, then like, as I got older, like, I started fucking with Shawn Michaels because he got all the bitches, bro. I was like, yeah, this nigga is, this nigga is hard, bro. I started fucking with Shawn Michaels. I like Cena. Everybody was hating Cena. Like, it was a big, like, Cena bandwagon going on. Um, Like, the rocket shit. But I, f I fuck with Jeff Hardy, bro. Jeff Hardy's fire as fuck. It really was just me. Everybody, music surrounded by me was just, like, music that, that was probably played, you feel what I'm saying? Like my, my family always was, was playing music at the house and shit. Michael Jackson, my mom used to play a lot of Michael Jackson. My mom used to play a lot of gospel shit. Family was playing like Marvin Gaye, The Temptations, shit like that, like old school R&B. It was a lot of old school R&B. That's what I grew up on, oh God. Bitches, bitches, oh my God, bitches, bro. Bitches, hell yeah, bro. It was never fuck school. Like, school is where all the girls are. Like, school is where everybody is. Like, I never was a fuck school nigga. I, I was skipping school, but I, I never was like a fuck school nigga. Like, education is important, bro. Subbrook in middle school, if you know what that is, shout out to you. And I went to Carver. That's like a, it's like a school for the arts type shit. So they have like dance, music, real art. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Shit like that. The way the school went was you, you auditioned for like vocal or something like that or dance and then you got accepted and so every day like you had to like do your music class i used to take music class first period every day that shit was cool like like they would just teach you like elements of music like not really no hip-hop shit but like classical shit like they taught you how to read music like the notes and and how long they last and shit like that. and like how to like sing better like how to project and shit like that and they really taught you like the fundamentals on how to get nice but i already knew all of that shit like ben knew that shit from a young and they tried to teach me shit that i already knew i always wanted to be famous bro like always bro like since it since it yeah, i was like yeah i'm gonna be a famous musician one day I don't know, just everybody knowing your name, you feel what I'm saying? All the money, getting whatever you want. Like everybody just know who you are. Like just people, like you go on stage and people are passing out cause you're there. Like that's hard. Like you, know, like, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like girls are passing out just cause I'm here. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like who wouldn't, you feel what I'm saying? Like who wouldn't want the fame and, and all the good stuff, not the bullshit, but all the good shit. Like I was attracted to that as a kid, like the, the stardom and star power. I was like, bro, that could be me. Like I'm, I'm that type of person. So I always saw that for myself. I could deal with it. Cause I always remember like there's for every person that's hating on you is two people who are fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? So I really, I really don't try to pay that shit on my, like, like my family and like my mom and shit and my uncles and my grandparents, like, like they supported me. So they were like, you're, you feel what I'm saying? You're going to be that. So it's just, when I was young, like they would try to, you feel me, train me and be like, watch what you say when people are hating on you and shit, like how to cope with shit like that. So like, I was getting right. I, I was getting right for that as a youngin'. So when it comes, I'll be straight, you feel me? And it's happening now too. Like niggas be saying some crazy shit in the DMs, bro. Y'all crazy, I'm not gonna lie, y'all crazy. But it's love. It's, it's, it's love, even to the people that don't fuck with me, it's still love, bro. Somebody DM me, like they tatted their lyrics I mean, they tatted my lyrics on them. That was pretty fire. Hell yeah. And they were low-key wrong. It was low-key wrong. Like, like they were low-key wrong at the end. Like, 
<laughs> no, bro. He got like the first part right, and then like the last part was like kind of wrong. Like I don't know if he tried to like paraphrase it so that the whole lyric wasn't on his arm, but like it, it's the thought. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to you, bro. If you're watching this right now, shout out to you, bro. It's love. Yeah, first song I did was a Gunner remix. It was a Sold Out Days Gunner remix. I hopped on GarageBand. I was recording with the phone mic, like, bro. My family was supporting it, though, like, my cousins and shit. Like, it was really playing that shit. I was getting hella clout in school. I just started hopping on hella, like, Gunner beats back in, like, 2018 till I started doing Plug. My first, like, three songs were, were some Gunner shit. Then I dropped this song called No Sir. That was Plug. The prod, um, Lincoln. Shout out, Lincoln. And then, like, I just been making Plug ever since. Well, not just Plug, but mainly i was taking that shit really serious like with the shit that i had like this shit was good but the mixing was bad like the mixing was trash but the lyrics and subject matter was fine so i was like hell yeah i'm hard i'm hard <laughs> i was listening to doa kane a lot and i was like bro he's young and he's popping so i was like bro i could do this shit you feel what i'm saying so i just did that shit you feel what i'm saying like i was like bro like i'm gonna be that that young nigga that's popping you feel what i'm saying like i i, I was feeling like that back then Hell yeah. Doo-wop was cool. I feel like everybody back then was fucking with, with Doo-wop King. Cause, cause the, and I feel like the reason why is because he was our age. Like you feel, it wasn't like an older nigga doing that shit. It was a young nigga like showing you like, bro, you can do this shit for real. I say the first song that really like started getting me crazy buzz was Chris Move. Nigga, I was locked up when that shit was going up, bro. So I couldn't even experience all the fandom and all the like people that was like probably following me and reaching out and shit but i was only in there for a month i came out that shit was still going up first starting it wasn't i want to be like that underground guy it was just like i want to be up so you feel what i'm saying like, i was dropping whatever i didn't know how to get my music on apple music so i was just dropping on soundcloud because of that but like probably like a year 2019 2020 because i started in 2018 so probably like 2019 2020 i was like i'm gonna really start going crazy on this plug shit it was really 2020 for after i got out of jail after chris move came out is when i was like yeah i'm gonna do this shit um i said my shit splash like chris move i just said that shit in the song like <laughs> i don't know bro i really don't know i just be i just be high bro i be recording bro like like i, I don't know i just be thinking this shit so i just called it that and they was fucking with that shit bro i've always recorded on my phone bro back in 2018 bro i've been recording on the phone like yes bro to this day like as of last night <laughs> like real shit i'm gonna get myself like a real like studio equipment like this year myself for christmas you feel what i'm saying so next year i can really take this shit serious like, i feel like at all the rappers that i'll be listening to that are up and shit i listen like even if i don't fuck with their music i listen to them because they're up so i can learn something from them you feel me you always got to keep on improving your sound and your quality so i'm about to start doing that shit that shit gonna take me up i'm already knowing now i never been to a real studio but i've recorded i have songs that are out that are recorded on like fl like you feel me like I, i've used fl before back in like 2018 I, I dropped a song that was like on uh like logic or something like that or like pro tools or something like that so I, I have i have some experience with like actual recording programs and shit like that when i was a little ass kid bro i was in the stew recording a song when i was like a eight years old i was just on some like church shit like you feel what i'm saying like that was just some that some type shit but i never really recorded no no hit songs in the studio hell no i got perry from i was with my man's pride and he was like he said i look like the platypus he said i look like fucking perry from my phineas and ferb from then we used to call everything perry like i just got a fat ass joint bro this i'm perry this shit is perry i just pulled this bad bitch i'm perry like we just like gave that shit a good connotation so i started saying that shit on instagram and like the fans like they just picked up on it so i just you know what I'm saying? I'm Perry now. I got Bravo from Johnny Bravo. He was getting the bitches. Like, he would always try to get the bitches. <laughs> and then he would fail. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that, that shit is hard. So I was going to be like Lil Bravo, but I didn't want to make it Lil because it was hella Lil rappers. Like Lil this, Lil that. So I just made it Big Bravo. And I used to think that shit was lame. So like, I, but I, I didn't want to change it though. I was going to change it to Bravo, but I didn't want to change it. You feel me? I just wanted to keep it. Keep it original, bro. Everybody wants to know how to get people to hear your music. Lock in with the DJs. They might charge you, but it's worth it. They got all these people from different countries, like Argentina and shit. It was a good way for me. Like recently, I just been dropping on my main page and then my archive page. As far as Instagram wise, like I never really paid for promo. Like I just feel like if you make good music, people will fuck with it. That was like my first album I dropped. That was like straight jerk. I think I had probably like one plug song on there. It was it was some different shit. 
It was really some different shit, bro. I, I wanted to do some different shit. I was tired of doing the same shit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That shit was poorly mixed. If I was doing what I'm doing like right now, like how I've been recording and I, and I dropped that shit, that shit would've went crazy. They fucking with it, bro. I appreciate anybody who fuck with my shit because my shit different. I'm not like one of these destroyed lonely niggas. Feel me, man? Like everybody wanted to be opium and shit. Like that's not me, bro. I got my own swag. <laughs> bro, bro, I love, I love women, bro. I love <laughs> Oh God, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Like, people be saying that about, like, a couple of my lines. Like, I be like, try to rob me. I feel like every artist has their thing. Like, it's just it's my thing. Like, when you listen to my music, like, you know, you're going to hear a coochie bar in there. <laughs> you feel me? Or Bravo, yeah. That was straight R&B. Like, I be versatile, bro. Like, that project went up very well. I think it's been almost a year. Coming up on a year since that project been out. Almost. I fuck with that shit, bro. It was some R&B on there. It was some plug and B on there. I was really singing on that shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I dropped it, I didn't even want to put that on there because it was like, it was some real singing shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it was some singing shit. And all that shit was R&B, but like, that one was just different. So when I dropped it, I archived it. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back up. I was just really on YouTube a lot, like looking up tight beats till I locked in with No Friends. Shout out No Friends. I mean, I've been doing my jerk shit right now. I'm trying to get into like Pink Panther shit like that. Pink Panthers and um, I think it's called house music. I think I think that's the word for it. I never really go into making music like, all right, I'm about to make straight plug. You feel what I'm saying? Until I did that R&B, I was like, all right, I'm gonna do straight R&B. Any other time, like bro, I just, if the beat's hard, you feel what I'm saying? I'm a hop on it. It don't matter what genre. I just be making, making music people can relate to bro like i don't shy away from putting how i feel in music you know what i'm saying and i feel like that's why my fans fuck with me so much because they can relate to my shit when it when, when shit happens like I, I i always come to music so i can vent bro that's one thing every artist that really like is into music and shit like that they they go to the mic and they vent bro what else am i gonna do you feel me like get high but you feel what i'm saying like i gotta express that shit bro and at the end of the day it's all good because people are gonna listen to it and relate you feel me so it's all good. It's all good. I, I could never like leave the music behind, like you said, bro. Even sometimes I'll be thinking about quitting this shit, but I'll be like, nah, bro. Gotta keep going, bro. I'll be wanting to quit sometimes because I'll be like, I'll be feeling like nobody really be caring about people. You feel what I'm saying? Like I do jerk, I do RB, I do all these other genres. Like nobody care about that shit. People only care about destroy lonely. Like real shit. Like people only care real shit. <laughs> bro, I'm not even playing, bro. Like like, when you really think about it, like, all these rappers are, you feel what I'm saying? They're all doing the same shit. Like, like Baby Santana, Dom Corleo, fucking, all these rappers are doing that opium shit. And so with me, it's like, do I have to change my genre of music and, and cadence to go up? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that, sh that shit be making me mad because it's like, it's niggas out here with real talent, real versatility that labels can put money behind. And people don't, they pay them no mind because they don't, they're, they're not opium. You feel They don't take pics and all black and shit. Like, bro, I'll be like, damn, bro. Like, like it shouldn't be like that. I know it's people who bump my shit. And that's like, you, like you asked, that's what keep me going, bro. The fans, the fans keep me going, bro. The fans keep me going and the love that they show. And also wanting to be that guy, you feel me? That in this whole generation of clones and shit, like came up without having to change their swag and change their style, bro. Like I want to be that guy, so that shit motivates me too. I could put on for other people and be like, bro, like you don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do that vamp shit. You don't. I feel like it's too late now, though, bro. Since he was ba around back then, he came up with it. But like now that plug is so dead, it's fine for him because he already got the fan base. You feel what I'm saying? So. It, it can't be dead for him, but people who are just starting, like say they just start today and want to do plug, like it's gonna be hard because that shit dead. You feel what I'm saying? Like plug is dead. Like like that vamp and, and shit. That's the new wave now. My best experience was probably the show I did in the A at Flop House. Shout out Flop House. They were kind enough to invite me to the A and have me perform. And it was lit. People knew the words. Like the shows that I was doing at first, like they were just some local shows. That, you feel me? Get your name out there. Nobody really listened to Plug or knew who I was too crazy. I went to Atlanta and it was lit. You feel what I'm saying? Like the girls was rocking with me after the show. Like it was it was lit. It was cool, bro. Like that, that shit was cool. Like that's the shit that I was looking forward to. Like that's the shit you look forward to coming in the rap. You feel me? Like rocking out the shows and shit. Local shows be dry, bro. They be dry. It'd be a whole bunch of people 
that I don't really know like that. It, I appreciate the experience though, you feel what I'm saying? So it just, it gets me better at performing. Cause that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, relating to me, just how to be more consistent. Like what should I say and do? Cause you know, I got fans and shit like that, you feel what I'm saying? So I can't say everything and do everything that I want to, that I think and want to do. So being more mature and shit like that, watch what I say and, and what I do and like what I share on show, social media and shit. Showing love, bro, that's, that's the biggest thing, bro. Cause I, I used to be like, oh no, nah, this he's ass, he's ass. I don't want to do a song, he's ass. But like maturing and shit, like being in, in the game and shit, like realizing that like you gotta work with people and shit like that. So it taught me how to like be more positive. Like that's all I am now, but like I'm really a, a positivity oriented person now. Like back then I used to be like, hell no, nah, man. These niggas are trash, blah, 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 shit like that. I'm actually glad that music like change that because like bro I, I wasn't gonna make it too far if i kept on doing that shit bro because i'll be really reckless and shit bro like I, i'm just a i'm a real lively person bro it's a time and place for everything you feel what i'm saying like just how to calm that shit down for real that's really the main thing that and just being consistent bro like being being consistent like it helped like people like people like could say they get that shit from sports like being in sports like it teaches you like routine and consistency and shit like that music has helped me with that it's maturing bro like it's maturing bro like i'm getting older now bro i'm 20 bro so feel what i'm saying can't be doing that that childish that shit like when i first started bro like 2020 like I was on live, like I was on like on Instagram lives, like going at niggas, like roasting niggas, like on some on some speed shit. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like I was for real, for real. I was I was on that type timing. Like two years later, like I don't really be I don't, like I, you know Arch Poppy. It's an Instagram live with me and him on YouTube, probably like a year or two ago, and we just was baking each other. Like we was going back and forth, packing each other. I'm not gonna lie, that shit helped me blow up back then. Everybody saw me. They be like, bro, who is this nigga? You feel what I'm saying? So they're gonna cut on my page and shit. So like, just I don't know. I was thinking about like getting back into that shit more because niggas really fuck with that shit. But like, I don't know, bro. I just be trying to be myself, bro. I want to be touring, bro. I want to be doing shows like Canada and shit. Like, I want to be out Canada. I want to be out France. Like, I want to be in different countries in five years. I want to have my own record label. I want to get Big E&T off the ground. I want to have my own record label. Living successfully off my music, bro. I can pay my bills, you feel what I'm saying? Eat good. All, all of music. Like, I, I want to be living substantially off music. You feel what I'm saying? I don't got to be the biggest... You feel me? Like the biggest chart top of nigga. Like, of course that's cool, but like my main thing is to just be up, like be a A-list celebrity. You feel what I'm saying? Or like a B, at least a B-list celebrity. But I, I want to be an A-list celebrity where people know me and I don't gotta. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I could just live comfortably off the music. When I was young, that was like that was one of my crushes. Like, like when I was young, like her and Zadie, that was one of my crushes. But like when I started dropping, I didn't have no cover art. To be honest, I'm gonna I'm really tell you what's up. Like I didn't want it to be like random ass pictures and shit. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna really go to Google and get no Google images. So I was like, all my shit is just gonna be like five pictures of her. I be trying to correlate it. Like sometimes I be correlating it. Like I got a song called It's Green and like she got on green. So <laughs> like I be. <laughs> So I got a song called Birkin and she got the Birkin in there, but like, I don't know, like I'll be trying to find like cool shit, like some abstract shit or something that can relate or something like that. I wasn't tapped in with no artists who could make cover art. You feel what I'm saying? Like now I'm tapped in, like, I, you feel me? Like people be doing fan art and I know some cover artists because that, that new album I dropped, you feel me? That was some cover art. You feel what I'm saying? Like I had, that was some real right cover art that I had somebody do. So yeah, but that ain't, that ain't your shit over with. <laughs> that shit dead. Bro, yes. Bro, oh God, I was going, bro, when I was younger, bro, and my cousin used to always, he'd be like, bro, we going to do this shit. Like, he was like, he was going to put me on Beyond Scare, Straight, Fear Factor, Family Feud, all that shit, bro. Like, I want to do that shit, but, like, I feel like they be picking the most, like, random people in, like, random ass places. Like, they not going to pick nobody to stay in Baltimore. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, they be, but, bro, I feel like, and I could easily do that shit. Like like worms and all that shit. Like I could I could easily do that shit, bro. Like I'm not scared of that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I seen an episode where they were eating cow nuts, like buckles. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not I'm not eating buckles for money, bro. <laughs> especially on TV. As a man, I can't I can't go out like that, bro. I, I don't know, bro. To be honest, I, I don't know. I'd do it to win. I, I probably would. I probably would eat that shit to win. Like 
Like, now I think about it, bro, like, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to go all the way there and lose. Like, I got to really think about some some crazy shit that I wouldn't do. Like, I don't know. Like, see people walk on fire before. They really, like, walked on hot coals that were under fire. Like, I don't know about that. Like, that shit would probably hurt. But, like, I pretty much do anything. As long as it's not no shit. Like, <laughs> I do anything, bro. You feel me? Real rap. Real rap. I do anything. As long as it's not no such shit. When I was younger, all my, my cousins had the BB guns. We were going crazy with the BB guns. But I want to go paintballing, though. I want to go paintballing on God. Like, I seen uh, Chief Keith be doing that shit. Like, he be doing the, paint, the paintball shit. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I really wanted to get into that shit, like, a lot when I was younger. But my mom wasn't going for that shit. Like, she didn't want no guns. Like, anything that like a real gun. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, she ain't want that in the house. But I had all the nerfs, though, on me. I had everything, bro. Real shit. What's next for me? Uh, y'all can expect more interviews, more collaborations, more features with y'all favorite artists. You feel me? I got some got some shit with Bloody on the way. Shout out Bloody Ocho Cinco. Got some shit with Lil PayPal. I'm gonna stay low key because y'all gonna be like, how he got that? So I got some I got some crazy feats, got some interviews. Finna be dropping more consistently. I think I'm gonna keep doing the jerk. I, I locked in with some producers. Uh, shout out Fear Dorian. Shout out YK. YK is my favorite producer right now. He produced um, Fear Factor, that song you used to talk about. So shout out YK. Um, Maxi's Five, Cash Paint. Trying to get a song with Xavier So Bass. Shout out Xavier So Bass, bro. I fuck with the wave. I fuck with what you got going on right now. Real original, bro. I support originality, but more music, bro. I got music videos that are tucked off that are coming out. Hell yeah. So interviews, just just more everything, bro. More shows, more everything. Everything I'm doing now is going to be more. It's going to be a lot more in 2023. Shout out the World's My TV, bro. Shout out the world to my TV. I appreciate you for having me on here, bro. I respect what you got going on, bro. I respect your platform, bro. Keep turning up.